Welcome everyone, my name's Dom. I hope you're all having a happy and safe holiday this year. Uh, I wanted to do this video to be kind of like a holiday Christmas special, whatever you want to call it. And uh, yeah, I wanted to show you guys this. So this is a real Google Aura. For those who are not familiar, this was a phone that Google was going to be making. Um, they were going to be launching a few years ago. It is a like fully modular phone. It has all these modules on the back and you could change and interchange it and do all sorts of stuff. Um, so I kind of wanted to do a bit of a walkthrough with this phone and uh, see what you guys think. So let's get started. Alrighty guys, so this is uh, Google Aura. So again, for anyone who's not familiar with this phone, uh, it was designed to be a modular phone and you could actually swap out these modules for all sorts of things. They had all sorts of things planned. Um, I did at one point have like the camera and the speaker module, but I cannot find them. So all I have are these blanks. So that's what's sitting in here now. I think they were just meant to be um, like test modules for different things. But you can see, I mean, it connects to Wi-Fi okay. It uh, it has cell phone service, even though like the SIM card I have in it isn't activated right now. Um, yeah, it's got GPS. We can go into the settings. Um, it's running an older version of Android. I'm not exactly sure which one it is. You know, it's, um, yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's a pretty cool phone. And you, so it has these buttons here on the side, it has your power button and your volume rocker. And then it has this button here, which was supposed to be the Aura button. And now the way that the R button was supposed to work is you could bring up your modules and then you could uh, you could tap the module and uh, yeah, then it would eject itself, right? So pretty cool. Um, it also had a secondary battery. Um, so as you can see, I can pull the battery out and the phone is still on. That's because there's an internal battery inside this phone. And so uh, for whatever reason though, I can't seem to get this battery to work. I actually, <laughs> Um, this phone wasn't actually working when I did that uh, that shot for that video. Uh, if you haven't seen that one, definitely go check it out. But um, yeah, I was able to get it working um, through some tinkering and stuff like that. The battery life is is abysmal, but uh, you know it's um, yeah. I mean it's it's a pretty cool phone. You know it's it's kind of an antique. It's it's super thick. Um, I think that's uh, probably one of the reasons why um, this phone may not have done so well. Uh, the the thickness, you know, with uh, with phones becoming so thin over the years, it uh, it definitely would have uh, would have been a tough sell for most. I would imagine too that like drop tests with this phone would have been really tough to do. Um, I could totally see, uh, you know, like modules popping out and just having to do a lot of extra work to be able to get this guy to uh, you know handle the drop test. But here you can see like the external battery settings there in the Aura app. Um, you can see it's got different modules. These are blanks. Again, you can just tap and then uh, oops, nope, you go like this. And then yeah, we got this uh, this two by one unit here, and see it just it just kind of pops out, really simple. Um, it would have been really cool to see what uh, what this phone could have become. Uh, I, you know, I, I don't exactly know what like what all the potential for this device was going to be, um, but I know that uh, you know everyone was very excited about it. They thought the the concept was cool, um, the whole idea of it was cool, and um, you know I mean it is a cool phone. It's kind of nice to have. Um, let's see, I'm gonna do a little bit of, do a little bit of browsing. So it's not just, uh, <laughs> it's not just me talking, but yeah, I mean, you know, it's got, uh, it's got Wi-Fi. let's see, Engadget. Okay. So yeah, I mean, here's, here's the Engadget website. Um, you know, the, the performance on this phone isn't exactly great. Um, I mean, this was, uh, this was a test unit. So, you know, they were still debugging and, and trying to figure a lot of stuff out when it came to, um, you know, before this thing launched and then, I mean, Google canceled it. So it, you know, I, I think this is, this is one of the later builds, uh, for the testing, but I mean, you know, it's, it, it's by modern standards, it's really nothing all that impressive. It's just kind of like a novelty device to have, um, you know, and to see it's, it's pretty cool. It did have USB type C so it actually can charge via USB type C. I think I have my, uh, my little dock here and you can see, you know, uh, I have my little wireless charging dock and I can just plug that in and there we go. Yeah, see, it's uh, it's starting to charge, I think. Yep, there's a little there's a little lightning bolt there. Let's go ahead and plug this uh, this back in over here. And yeah, I mean, you know, if, if you guys have any questions or anything you would like to see, or if you're an Android developer and maybe like, you know, we could write some code together and, and kind of make some apps for it just to kind of see, you know, like what this device could have been. Um, I think it'd be really cool to, you know, kind of tap into it. And, uh, you know, again, if you're interested, 
um, you know, definitely, you know, leave a comment down below and, uh, and subscribe and all that stuff. And if you want to see more videos like this, you know, throw a like on the video too. Um, cause I, I'm definitely, you know, again, I, I'm just kind of doing this as a, uh, as a, you know, just a holiday thing. I don't know how many of you are actually going to be interested in, um, in this device, but you know, I, I think it's pretty cool. Um, and, uh, I, you know, I, I'm sure there's some people out there that are, that were excited about the idea of this phone and, um, you know, what this phone could have meant. Uh, you know, it's kind of, again, it's a niche phone. It's not very, um, I mean, it's, you know, there's, there's a lot of, um, there's a lot that goes into, you know, investing into a phone like this, kind of like the LG wing, right? It's just a, it's a unique Android phone and really only Android could do this kind of thing. I do not think Apple, um, ever would. Uh, even consider doing something like this but again you know for for those of you who who would be interested in um in this phone let me know and i can easily make more videos um you know about this uh, about this guy and answer any of your questions if there's anything you'd like to see maybe i'll do like a you know your questions answered video for this phone uh but yeah i mean that's that's about it nothing um you know nothing too crazy nothing too uh you know Nothing, not, uh, just, uh, just a cool little, just a cool little callback. Yeah, I think it was like 2016 or 2017 when they, uh, when they announced this phone. So well, anyway, guys, that about concludes this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, definitely, like I said, throw a like on the video, um, you know, hit me up with any comments. If there's any questions you have about the phone, anything you can do, um, you know, if you'd like to do maybe like a collab, if you're a, um, you know, if you're, if you're an Android app developer or anything like that. You know, uh, like I said, and yeah, you know, subscribe, all that stuff. And uh, yeah, as always, guys, talk to you soon.